The eyedropper was a cute idea. It's not mine. Then how did it end up in your wastebasket? I have no idea. And the girl's underwear? I already told you that she slept in my bed. And her blood on your sheets? I can't help you. Well, the urine sample you gave already has. It tested positive for gonorrhea. <laughs> what? No. No, I don't have gonorrhea. Yeah. Yeah, you do. And since Kelly was a virgin before you raped her, we know that she got it from you. Circumstantial at best. It's good enough for an indictment, and if his DNA matches the semen from the rape kit, he'll be transferring to a campus upstate. You understand that? Assuming you can get a court order for the blood test. Oh, please. We both know that that's just a formality. Nevertheless, we'll wait for the results of that formality before responding to your charges. Let's go. Possession of GHB is a Schedule One offense with your past record. What past record? Would you be hit for possession of ecstasy? That record was expunged after my client finished his community service. He was expunged on the condition that he keep his nose clean until he was 21. Your client's only 19. We start with possession, move to acting in concert, top it off with rape. Whoa, wait a minute. Enough with the scare tactics. What are you offering? What are you selling? I never saw the stuff. How did it get in your room? I don't know, but Tess and Jody were acting weird all night. They kept topping off Kelly's beer and calling it a love potion. I thought they were just trying to get her drunk. Is your roommate in on this? Yeah. All I know is, after the girls left, Joe tossed me a blanket and told me to hit the bricks. Said he was about to hit another home run. According to Hank, Joe spent at least a half hour alone with Kelly before he went downstairs to crash. This statement also implies a conspiracy between Kelly's sorority sisters, for which we have no motive and no proof. Why would her own sorority sisters set her up to be raped? Exactly what the grand jury's gonna ask. We don't supply an answer. Our whole case looks suspect. If they are involved, Tess and Jody, are not gonna be very forthcoming with a motive. But I know someone who might. Kelly and Tess didn't get along very well at first. In fact, Tess tried to get Kelly dinged during Pledge Week. Dinged? Rejected by the membership. Why? Look, Dana, I understand that your sisters are pressuring you, but your friend was drugged and raped. Now, you need to decide what's more important, living with them or living with yourself. Joe and Tess were dating last semester. Kelly was new. She didn't know. When Joe checked her out at a rush party, she flirted back. Tess was furious. When Joe dumped her, she blamed Kelly. Tess the type of person to hold a grudge? A few weeks ago, I heard her and Jody in the bathroom. Tess found out she had the clap. she get it from Joe? They were whispering. All I heard was something about getting even. Things got a little strange after that. She started acting really friendly towards Kelly, you know, even offered to be her big sister. But behind her back, she was spreading rumors about Kelly and how she was sleeping around. Tess ever mentioned anything about drugs? No. Did you ever see her or Jody handling a clear substance, possibly in an eyedropper? I saw them mixing chemicals in their room. When was that? The night before they went out. It looked like homework. Tess is reading from her biochem notebook. That's Tess's station. Open it. Bang everything. What are you doing? Lab TA said some items are missing from storage. We thought they might have been misplaced in your drawer here. Perhaps you could save us the trouble. You been out for a little joke? What are you doing in my room? It's all in the warrant. This is harassment. So sue me. You're a biochem major, aren't you? So? So how about educating us as to what the scientific name for this little formula is? Well? Tess, possession is just the beginning. Now, we prove conspiracy. You're looking at rape. Rape? You took away her ability to consent. You'll never prove that. No? One of your sorority sisters already decided to break the code of silence. Told us how Joe gave you the clap before he dumped you for Kelly? I mean, what better way to get back at the little tease than making sure she paid full freight for the ride? And GHB was the ticket. We trace the chemicals. We know where you mix them. All we have to do is execute another search warrant. We're gonna have more than what we need to put you and your accomplice away for a very long time. I better call a lawyer. Be my guest. You 
You think she'll take the bait? We'll know soon enough. Okay. Bitch.